Hi guys, this is my first video shot with a Casio Elipsim, Elipsim camera. Tell me what you think of the uh, picture quality. So, under this uh, yellow dust cover, we have my next uh, interesting uh, teardown. I did just receive it from eBay. It was uh, 40 euros. And as it is uh, very rare to find uh, instruments, I did take it. And maybe the seller will have other things for me. We have made by Will the Irbog, Brog, something in Switzerland, a topometry instrument. So, since it is a digital level for uh, site surveying, topometry, and uh, building uh, construction uh, sites use on construction sites. So model is uh, Wild Airborg, it is brand NA2000. It must be a mid-90s instrument, I believe, something like this, or early 90s. There is, is a calibration sticker from uh, Leica. Uh, October of 1999. So I will uh, just show it uh, quickly today because there will be a complete uh, review in the Tiadon video. I hope. I hope I will have time to do it uh, quite soon. So it was sold as not working and uh, surely enough it gives an uh, error code. Not sure about what to do else with it. So there is the eyepiece here, little LCD display here, keyboard. You can see the case is attached with Allen screws, which is a sign of quality. Little handle on the top. Bubble level here with uh, matching eyepiece here to check the level. Uh, here, uh, removable battery. Nickel cadmium battery, 12 volts with built-in fuse. Looks like it can be taken apart, so maybe it is possible to replace the battery elements. Contacts here. Little uh, plug here for uh, accessory maybe. Uh, very nice quality. So the case seems to be plastic in the top, but die cast metal for the base. And here there is a slot for something. Maybe a uh, memory cartridge, uh, accessory, option, something like this. Is there are electrical contacts at the bottom. This uh, knob here will rotate the base. This must be for focus, I guess. And you can see, last but not least, this very nice uh, base with uh, three settings. Tripod base, plate. Really spare no expense here. Lots of screws at the bottom. Some are uh, plugged with uh, this green uh, goop matching the paint color, but it is possible to remove it, it seems. So I guess for disassembling it, I need to remove the two plates each side and uh, remove the cover to access fully the inside because, in fact, I will uh, tell you, I did remove this cover and it is completely full. You cannot see anything because it is full of stuff. So you just see uh, one circuit board on boxes and it is all in fact. So you need to take it apart completely to uh, see what is going on. So it seems uh, it works with uh, targets. The, you are supposed to aim at the targets with barcodes, according to what I saw in the German documentation I found on the web. I will link it in the video description. So there are big rods you are target at with uh, barcodes all the way. And I do not know how it works at all after this. So if you have any information, I guess it is for checking the level, maybe between several uh, targets. They see if they are offset or they are all level, something like this. Not sure for now. But 
what is sure is that it will be a, it will be a very interesting teardown. It came with a carrying box, big, uh, enormous orange box, quite dirty but very sturdy, with a styrofoam uh, inside. Okay, so it will be all uh, for now about this thing. I uh, try to do the next part as soon as possible. And I am out of focus. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.